Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Receive Money window, formerly called the Receipts window, is used to enter cash sales as well as deposits without invoices. It's also used to apply payments that you have received to customer invoices. When you select a customer ID within the Receive Money window, all unpaid invoices for that selected customer will appear. You can enter payments for the entire amount due as well as partial payments. You can also apply credit memos and prepayments to invoices within this window as well. To access the Receive Money window, select Tasks from the menu bar and then choose the Receive Money command. The first time that you do this, it will open a smaller window which will prompt you to select a cash account to use for these receipts. Select the cash account that you wish to use from the drop-down of cash account choices that appears and then click the OK button to view the Receive Money window. If you elected to assign the deposit ticket ID within the Receipts window when you set your customer defaults, then that field will appear at the top of this screen as the Deposit Ticket ID field. Whatever code you enter here, which is the date by default, groups the amount received with any other amounts that you have received that share the exact same code when you select Deposits within the Account Reconciliation screen. If you elected to use the Select for Deposit window to assign your Deposit Ticket ID values, then this field will not be available to you within the Receive Money window. Next, you'll select either a Customer ID or Vendor ID from the drop-down field of the same name, and then select the specific Customer ID or possibly Vendor ID from the drop-down box to the right of the first drop-down. To enter a receipt for a customer who's not in your customer list, leave this field blank and instead type the customer's name as you would like it to appear on the receipt directly into the name field. Also note that one reason that you are able to choose a vendor ID within the Receive Money window is to deposit a vendor refund into your selected cash account. You can enter a reference code for the transaction into the check slash reference number text box. This is typically where you'll enter the check number that's used if the customer is making a payment by check. You can, however, type any code which you would like to use into this text box. You enter the receipt number into the receipt number text box if you will not be printing this form. Otherwise, leave it blank to assign the receipt number during the printing routine. You can then enter the date that the payment was received into the date text box or assign the date using the adjacent calendar dropdown within that text box if you prefer. You can then set the method of payment used by the receipt by using the Payment Method drop-down. If you process credit cards through Sage 50, you can click the Process button to open a window into which you can enter the customer's credit card information. Alternately, you can click the Record button to record a credit card payment without actually processing the payment within Sage 50. The balance of the selected cash account will be displayed in the Cash Account Balance field. If it says Uncalculated in the Cash Account Balance field, you can click the Recalculate button that looks like a dollar sign to the right of that field to display the correct total balance. At the bottom of the Receive Money window, you would select the Apply to Revenues tab to enter items purchased that are not associated with any outstanding invoices. When a customer without open invoices is selected, this tab automatically comes forward over the other tab. Customer deposits made in advance, such as prepayments, can be taken on this tab by simply checking the prepayment checkbox. You would choose the Apply to Invoices tab 
to receive payments against open customer invoices. Note that this tab will automatically appear with customers that have one or more open invoices. On this tab you will see the invoice, the due date, and the amount due. You can enter a description for each invoice in the description field if desired. If the customer qualifies for a discount, the discount amount will also be displayed here as well. You can change it if needed. You can also enter the amount paid on an invoice for partial payments or you can simply check the pay checkbox to take the full amount due. If you had selected a vendor ID on a receipt, then the apply to vendor account tab will instead appear at the bottom of this window. You can use this tab to record vendor refund amounts. When you're finished using the receive money window, simply click the save button in the toolbar at the top of the window to save the receipt. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.